everyone! Um, today we're gonna do a hair tutorial and I know everyone's probably gonna be staring at this. Um, I got my lip pierced again. I know I said I'm not gonna pierce any more holes on my face but uh, I'll do a whole separate video on that and explain what happened there. Um, so if you're curious then stay tuned for that video and I'll do it pretty soon. I originally wasn't going to make a video just yet just because it's still in the process of healing and it looks really hideous right now but um, I really wanted to share this hair tutorial with you guys so that's why um, I didn't wait until I healed and I'm here um, but that's besides the point today we're not gonna talk about my piercing today um, today we're going to talk about how to wear a bandana so right here I have a polka dot one with just sort of like different colors of polka dot with a black background and then I have a zebra one you I got these from Walmart for like a dollar each which is like super reasonable and super cheap um, if you have a Walmart near you then definitely go check it out um, they do have quite a few different designs but these ones were the ones that I picked they also had I think like orange blue, gray, some other colors, um, and different patterns too. So, why did I want to do a bandana tutorial? One, it's super easy to wear. Sorry if the lighting is washing me out. Is it washing me out? <sighs> Whatever, it's a hair tutorial. Let it wash me out, it's fine. Um, one, it's super easy to wear. Second of all, it's something that could really, really pull up pull up, pull off a outfit and make it look sophisticated. Um, if you wake up with like really messy hair, like okay I wake up and I look like this and I don't feel like, you know, styling my hair or whatever, I can just throw on a bandana and nobody would ever know I had a bad hair dye, right? So that's good about it and also if you wanted to add a feminine touch to your outfit, this can also help with that and also just overall gives you a very stylish look and I've been wearing it a lot lately um, it's kept my hair in place and I don't know I just like it a lot so I wanted to share with you guys what I do to wear them and if you want to know how I get the bandana look then keep watching so I have kind of crazy hair right now because I wore a bandana all day and I kind of put my hair um, twisted in a bun so it's all like messy and then I have this like weird thing going on up here um, so that's why it's like all weird and stuff but uh, we'll cover that up with a bandana so let's get started enough chit chatting oh um, and I fixed my eyebrows I like uh, what you want to call it I brought back the arch just because so many of you were like you look better with the arch in your eyebrows so I was like fine get my eyebrows done like how I used to shape them so now I have a little bit more of an arch anyway <laughs> I digress so with bandanas um, I'm gonna show you guys with the polka dot one because I like the polka dot how I fold it is, I know a lot of people just fold it like, um, you know, edge to edge like this, like a triangle, but what I like to do is I like to actually take one edge and sort of like fold it to the middle, so like that, and then do the same with the opposite side, right across from it. So then you get something like this, I don't know if you can see, but you'll have like two triangles, one on this side and one on this side, and then what you're going to do is just fold this one towards the middle and fold this one towards the middle, so at the end you will get one strip. So I'm just going to fold that. I mean at the end of the day you get the same effect as folding it in one big triangle, but I just like doing that so the edges don't look so... Uh, um, whatchamacallit, so the edges don't look like there's a million lines. You'll get what I mean when you fold it. Okay, so in the end you'll get something like this, 
And there's a lot of ways to wear bandanas. People wear it across their forehead. People wear it, you know, like wrap it all the way around, like um, not in a, not folded up like this. They wrap their hair in it, or you can like wear it as a headband like this. I personally like to wear it like upside down like this. Um, like a lot of times I could just kind of tie it even when I don't have any buns in my hair or anything like that I would just tie it and it would already be cute but the thing is today I want to teach you guys how I do it on a day where I don't feel like showing my hair so I want to put it away and sort of have the bandana as the main accessory so what I do is I first take the um, bang section of my hair and I'm just going to tease that and give it some volume. Now I already have hairspray from earlier in the day so it's a little bit easier to tease and it's already in that shape but if your hair it's, uh, it's very like hard to tease or it doesn't like to stay upwards in that direction you can use a one and a half inch curling iron like I did this morning and just kind of like flip it um, upwards so it'll have that curve that curvature that keeps it, um, keeps it up throughout the day. So uh, I'm not gonna go and grab my curling iron and show you guys what I did there. Hopefully you guys can, you know, like experiment on your own and figure out how to like flip your hair that way. I'm, I'm sure everyone knows how to use a curling iron, right? So yeah, so I'm just gonna tease and depending on your own taste, like, you can tease however big of a poof you want to. I like to have my hair relatively big just because it elongates my face and I like it when, I, when my face looks long. So I'm just going to tease, tease, tease until I feel like it's a good amount of poofiness. And you want to use a brush... Um, that has like four bristles um, these kind of brushes are easier to tease hair with and it doesn't damage your hair as much so I like these a lot I got this one from Daiso and it was like what like 150 so cheap right so you really don't have to go buy like expensive brushes to tease your hair anyway so if you can see from the side I have like a relatively big poof going on and that's just gonna be what the front of my head would look like. So I'm gonna grab that poof from the uh, the peaks of my eyebrows. I'm going to grab that section and I'm gonna twist it one time and just pin it in place with a bobby pin and this will just ensure that the poof won't go anywhere. And then you can adjust accordingly. And that's what my poof looks like. Okay, and then for the rest of the hair, again, we want to grab the crown of your of our heads, or the hair from the crown of our head. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Um, you want to grab this part and just give it some volume. Or if you already have a really nice head shape, you really don't have to do this part. But for me, since I have a flat old head, I always have to tease this part to give it some volume and for this look you really want the back of your head to look rounded so it gives that nice shape um, there gives me a little bit of shape my head's actually really hopeless it's like super flat so I don't even want to bother sometimes but anyway so I tease that part and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to section my hair into two sections. So one section here and another section over here, excuse me. And I'm going to teach you guys the trick to fake a lot of volume in your bun. I know a lot of people have thin hair like me. Well, I used to have really thick hair, but then I started bleaching my hair like and doing all that kind of stuff to my hair. So it got really thin. Um, whenever I put it in a bun, if I just do it like this, you know, I twist it, it's gonna be a really small bun like I don't know if you can see it but it's a really small bun 
and I like my buns to be really big so what I do is I section it off into two sections so I have a top ponytail and a bottom ponytail um, and then you want to take your brush and just you know brush the sides back that part just slick it back because we're gonna put a bandana over it anyway and what you want to do is take that ponytail and make a little tiny loose bun with it so I'm gonna wrap it sorry can you see wrap it once and then just make a loose bun hopefully you can see that anyway so you want to do the same with the bottom and then you want to position the bottom bun a little bit uh, lower towards the uh, towards the bottom of your neck so that when we put on the bandana it'll sort of act as the anchor and sort of keep the bandana in place so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same just take it loop it and we'll just do a relatively loose like so and then what you want to do is you want to just combine the two buns together but do so with a lot of uh, what am I trying to say tie them together sort of like really messy so that you get texture and at the same time since you have two buns added together it'll give you more volume as well so I'm gonna tie those two together And before you do that, you can just like sort of tighten them and stretch them out. And then... And then now when you put it together, it's gonna be a pretty big bun. And that's how I fake the volume in my bun. <laughs> yeah, everything is fake. But anyway, back on our bandana business. Oh, my poof came off. Um, we're going to spray everything down with hairspray later, so don't you worry. Anyway, so that's basically what the hair looks like now. Um, I have a big old poof going on in the front, and then I got a big bun in the back. If you don't want to wear a bandana, I mean, like, this is a wearable look, too, but this look is going to have a bandana on it. So I'm going to take my bandana, and then I'll loop it, and then I'll just tie it right where I bobby pinned the poof down. And then you want to just tie it once, and tie it twice, and secure it. And you want to just adjust it so that the two little ears stick up and look cute. Like so. And you can like tuck your um, poof in a little bit. So that's the, that's how, I usually like to leave my ears out just because I think it looks better. I don't know, like I could be tripping but. I like it when my ears are out so you can see my uh, piercings. Ah! <laughs> anyway, I digress so much today. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so the last thing you're going to do is just, or not the last thing, one of the last things you want to do is to use some bobby pins and you want to secure your bandana so it doesn't fall out. Um, I secure it one on each side next to my ear. So right above the ear, I would put one on each side. And then I go in behind my ear, towards the end, or towards the bottom of the neck, of my neck, gosh, can't speak. And I'll put one here, and then I'll put another one over here. And then at the end, I'll sort of spray everything down with hairspray. And just fix any flyaways, anything that you don't like, just 
just tuck it in. Fix the ta the tails. Fix the ears. I call them ears. Whatever you want to call them. And that's it. That's the finished look. Mm. Or I like I like to pull my crown a little bit to give it a little bit of volume just because like I said my head's super flat so I just pull it a little bit. Anyway, that's the finished look. Ah, breaking my back. This side. And there you have it. Super simple, super easy, and I definitely think it's a good look to wear for the fall or winter. Or if you get cold, you can actually, you know, like put the banana over your ear, give you some warmth, and yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and I hope I didn't talk too much. And hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, I said that already. Uh, anyways. This is the end of the tutorial, and I hope you guys liked it. And if you liked it, please subscribe and click the like button down here. And I will see you soon. Bye! <laughs>